Flacco sat down on that route. He's going to sit down on a lot of these routes because they understand that Dowdy wants to get the ball in his hands very quickly. And the second favorite receiver is Jared Dangerfield, and he is brought down after a short gain of a yard. And, uh, getting, them, getting, getting deep behind him. And they stay on the ground here with Wales. And there is the penetration from that athletic, smart, and talented USF line along him. And that's why that game is so good. So on third and forever, look out here. They're out of field goal range. Another sack. Eric Lee, Sean Hill, celebration time. Kentucky was out of sync on that play. When he snapped the ball, Dowdy wasn't even ready for it. I don't know how he caught the snap. And then from there, USF's front four just teed off and got to Dowdy again. They were that first and goal at the empty set here for Brandon Dowdy and WKU. And they go right to the pass, caught by Grant. And Grant will get out to the 38-39 yard line. Lee on the stop. Hills is his tailback. That's a backwards pass. And a double pass coming up from Fant. Wide open. Two rushes, two for him. Yep. 36 yards and a touchdown. Dowdy facing some pressure. Guns it out. Caught by Nicholas Norris, who's got a couple of touchdowns, and he's going to lose five yards. Mandatory now, the way college football is played. Dowdy. And that ball's up for grabs and intercepted by USF. Eric Lee. That ball bounced off of about three guys' hands, helmets. Almost a 300-pound senior. Look at that. Wales and Nichols and everybody had some chances of that, and Lee, trailing the play, comes up with it. And on that possession right there, USF went to their dive defense with just three down linemen. That might be the adjustment they're going to make now that Jamie Bird. Every once in a while, we lower tier guys can't get a good one off. Oh, <laughs> Furby heading left. And he'll get around to the 46-yard line. Eric Lee brings him down.